everyone, welcome to our Crazy Life Scotland and a small B&M bargains haul. I was in yesterday, didn't get everything that I went in for, but I did buy a few things so I thought I would just show you anyway. It's not a huge haul, but at the end there's a couple of bonus items that I actually bought in Asda that I wanted to add into this haul because I wasn't doing an Asda haul. Right, let's get into it. I have got the prices, the receipt. So I will give you the prices and I will put all the calories for the edibles on the screen for you. Let's go. Right, Dishmatic. For anyone who doesn't know, a Dishmatic is a dishwashing sponge with that's attached to a hollow tube that you can put your washing up liquid in so that it releases washing up liquid while you're actually washing your dishes. I know I am late to this party. However, I'd never bothered buying one before because I hardly ever wash dishes. I use a dishwasher all the time. I'm a bit lazy that way. But what I thought was, I've been looking for something decent to clean around the bottom of the toilet bowl. I know this isn't a very nice conversation, but it has to be had. Uh, you know the bit around the toilet bowl, it gets dusty, it gets covered in all sorts. So I find it difficult to get down with wipes and give it a really good clean and it just sort of came to me one day I thought I can put toilet cleaner or bleach or something in the handle and actually use that and that would be easier I don't know if it will work or not but that is my thinking that's my idea behind it I will let you know with my thumbs up system just now whether it works or not so did it work? let's find out the bleach on its own was too thick, but I added some water and gave it a good mix and then it worked really well. So yeah, I was happy with that. It was $2.99 for this pack, but you get the Dishmatic plus six refills. You could buy the Dishmatic on its own for a pound, but I thought it makes sense to pay the extra couple of pounds and get all the refill heads, especially since I've got two toilets. I'll go through them quite quickly. So yeah. It's getting to that time of year where the fleas and ticks are out in force, and especially in this area. We're right at the water. There's loads of grass and trees and everything about. It's a flea and tick paradise. So when you've got animals, you need to be really, really careful. They've not got fleas or ticks at the moment and we want to keep it that way. And it is time for their renewal of the, their treatment. Usually the vet does it, but with the way things are with the vets and well, with everywhere just now, we thought it would be easier to just buy it ourselves and do it ourselves. So when we were in B&M, we picked up for the cat and for the dogs. So that is the dog one that we got. And it's for fleas and ticks and it's for dogs up to 40 kilograms. So we actually bought a couple of these because we've got three dogs and they all weigh different amounts so we need to work it out by their weight how much of it they get and um, it says for 12 weeks but that's because there's six pipettes in it so oops it won't last us 12 weeks because we've got the three dogs but um, it will do all three dogs probably a couple of treatments so that will be good and it gives you all the instructions on the back, how to use it and how much to use depending on the dog's weight. The dog one was 2 99 We actually bought three according to the receipt. I wasn't sure how many Jack had picked up. Um, so it was £8.97 for us altogether. But that's, like I say, for three dogs and it will last them a couple of treatments. The cat one, which is here, it is... Oh, no, it's not. That's another dog one. Where's the cat one? Oh, that's another dog one. Here's the cat one. The cat one, which is here, is for cats and kittens from 12 weeks, so it's safe to use on Lomond. He's, what, eight months now, eight, nine months, something like that. And again, it shows you on the back how to use it. And you get six applications in here, so it prevents fleas for 24 weeks, prevent, prevents ticks for 24 weeks. That was 2 99 as well. So it's great prices. I don't know how well they'll work, and I won't be able to tell you in this um, video, but... If I do buy it again in the future, I'll let you know it's because it worked well. Because it'll take a wee while, obviously, for it to, to work and for us to make sure that there's not any teas, teas or flicks. There's no teas or flicks on them. <laughs> Fleas or ticks, you know what I mean. I bought another box of the Friends Caramel Latte for the Dolce Gusto machine because we really like that and it's only $2.99 a box. I don't need to look at the price because I remembered. And yeah, we, re we really like that one. And so I bought another box. 
and you get 10 drinks in this. It's only the one pod that you use, it's not a lot of the Dolce Gusto, you get the milk and the coffee separate. This is all in the one pod, so you get 10 in here, and again I'll put the calories on the screen. I am loving French fancies at the moment, you know the little Mr Kipling cakes with the cream in them, I just love them just now, I don't know what it is about them. And I saw these that I hadn't seen before, and I know the, the, Ral, the Ral Dal, the Ral Dal ones have been out for a while, so I did check the date, and they're not out of date until the 5th of August, so it's fine. And it's the strawberries, and uh, well sorry, the BFG's Strawbuncles and Cream. So it's strawberry and cream flavour, and I love the chocolate orange, I love the lemon, I love all the different flavours. So I thought I would give that one a go to check. And yeah, I know I'm late to this party as well, because the rolled out ones were out ages and ages ago. But they're still in date, and I'm willing to give them a go. And they were... £1.49. Now, the reason I don't buy the French fancies out of Asda is they're always at least £2.50, sometimes more. So I always look for them in whatever flavour they've got when I'm in B&M's or Home Bargains, anywhere like that. Hey. I really didn't like these. They had a horrible artificial chemical taste. I was needing more small bin bags for cleaning out Lorman's tray. And um, so I just picked these up. They were a pound and you get 50 pedal bin liners in there. They're the 15 litre bags. So they will be ideal. Had to buy them. This is one of the main things I went in for. I had run out of my Fabulosa wipes and I just love the rainbow smell. It's amazing. It's so fruity and refreshing and summery. I just love it. And these are 149 I think. Yep, £1.49 for 80 wipes. Yeah, 80 wipes, and you know I love these, absolutely love them. They clean well and they smell amazing. Edibles now. Brooke had some friends coming over yesterday, so I did pick up some chocolate in case they needed it. And then I had kept it in this bag for doing this haul today and totally forgot to tell them it was there. So it's a bonus. The next time they come over, there's going to be chocolate there for them. So I got the Dairy Milk Caramel Nibbles. I think they were a pound. Yep, they were a pound. I love these. She might not end up getting them. <laughs> and I picked up the Twirl Bites, which were also a pound. Now, someone told me ages ago about the Yorkie orange flavour, and I've been on the lookout for it since and never seen it. Then I saw it yesterday. Orange flavour Yorkie. I've never been a massive Yorkie fan, but I thought I have to try it. Yes, anything orange flavour, I have to try it. And it was only 49 pence, so I picked that up. And I do like that it's massive big chunks, because they last ages. <laughs> and finally from B&M, Jack picked up the white Snickers. I wish they would do white Mars bars. I do like a Snickers, but because I've no teeth, I can't actually chew the nuts. So when I get to the nuts, I have to just spit them out. Too much information, I know. But hey ho, we're all friends here. Um, but the white Snickers are just amazing. So you get five in this pack. It does say it's a limited edition, but we, we had them a while ago, I'm sure. And £1.50 for the five, so that's not too bad. So that was everything from B&M. And the couple of bonus things from Asda, I can't remember the prices so I will put them on the screen when I'm editing. I have been looking for these for ages as well, but I was looking in the wrong bit. A few people had told me that you now get Jaffa Cake Jonuts, which is like a cross between a donut and a Jaffa Cake. So I had been looking for them forever, but I was looking beside the donuts. I didn't realise that they would be beside the biscuits. Or actually, I'm not sure if they are going to be. They were on an end dial with a lot of new products in our Asda, so I don't know where they'll put them eventually, but I would imagine looking at them that it'll be beside the biscuits because it is in what looks like a normal Jaffa cake box. But look at them, Jaffa Jonuts. So it's a donut shape with the chocolate on the top and the orange that you get inside your Jaffa cake goes right through the middle of the donut and I just think it looks amazing. Now it says new but I believe Tesco have had them for a couple of months because I've been looking for that long and like I said I will have a look and put the price on the screen, I'll put the calories on the screen and I'll let you know now whether I liked it. Meh it's okay but the orange bit isn't orangey enough for me. And the last thing I got was something that's new to Asda I did get it from B&M ages ago, but 
it was the Australian version, I believe, because they're still selling it in B&M just now for $2.99 in a different packet. And that is the date Cadbury Caramel. So it's, what does it describe it as? A golden caramel chocolate. It reminds me of Caramac. So, Cheryl, I know that, is it Ben or Sammy that loves Caramac? Maybe, if, since you're finding it hard to find that, try them with this and see what they think because it's very like Caramac. It is delicious. Now, like I say, I've not tried this version of it. This was a pound, I'm sure. It was a pound or £1.50, which is why I picked it up in Asda. And then when I went into b and I checked and it's still £2.99 there, but it is a different packet and it might be a slightly bigger bar, but I think it came from Australia originally. But this is our packaging now, so it looks like they are actually making them in Britain now as well. And it's not got anything over the nutrition label, so yeah hopefully they are now making it in britain and it is going to be cheaper to buy because it was delicious but i wasn't going to be paying 2 99 for a bar of chocolate every time i fancied it and it is so so nice i will put in my wee thumbs up system just to make sure because it might taste slightly different but if it tastes the way that it did before it will be delicious yep just as delicious do you want to have a look do you want to see what it looks like why not because I will be trying it very soon anyway. It's only 8 o'clock in the morning, so I'm not trying it right now, but I will be trying it soon. It looks like Caramac. Caramac. It smells like Caramac. That's what it looks like. Okay. So it's maybe slightly thinner, I would say, than the normal large dairy milks that you get. But you get three chunks in a row. And... Oh, can't wait. It's so nice. And the other good thing is Jack doesn't like Caramac, so it'll be all mine. Unless the girls see it. <laughs> so that is everything from this little haul today. I did say it was a wee one, um, but hopefully you've enjoyed it anyway. Hopefully you've seen a couple of products that you've not seen before. I hope that dishmatic works well for the toilet because I could become another Mrs. Hinch if this works. I don't know, maybe people are already doing it on TikTok or something like that. I've not seen it anywhere, but it just came to me one day that that would be a good plan. So yeah, maybe people are already doing it. I'm maybe late to that party as well. However, we'll give it a go and we'll see what we think. So thank you so much for watching this, everyone. I hope you've enjoyed it. If so, please hit the thumbs up button. Don't forget to talk to me in the comments down below. And subscribe if you haven't already for more hauls and vlogs and things about the dogs and reviews and all sorts of things. And I'll see you in our next video. Thanks, everyone. Bye!